What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, the Firestarter himself, Sable Rocks. And I know you know who this is. My guy. What's going on, everybody? I'm Ronan Shogun, the Ninja Assassin. Huh. I'm back. What's going on, man? Always, always. Chilling. All right, man. So a few years ago, they turned one of my favorite video game series as a kid into one of the greatest animes on Netflix right now. And that is Castlevania. And they got season four dropping in just a few days. Okay, cool. 13th or something like that. They got a new trailer out that I haven't seen. Let's watch it, guys. Let's get it. Hold on. Let me switch to 4K. Yes, important. Most important. Uh, you ready? I'm ready, man. Right. This is where it all started. This animation is amazing, man. Yeah, man. Everything Love it. Has 2D animation here. killing the game right now. And draw. Which means we are here for a reason. Mm. Oh. All right. Where would you like to start? The whole world's gone crazy. We've lost many people to night creature attacks. Will you help us? Mm. This can't be the last season. I'm sure I can do something for you. Oh. Sisters. Hector is finally ready to start making night creatures. We could take the entire world for our own. It's a spell. It will have the name of the person he was trying to bring back from the dead. Oh, let me guess. It decodes as Vlad Dracula Tepesh. Why the fuck would anyone do that? <laughs> hmm? Would you do that? I wish I could fucking kill you twice. Savage. <laughs> we killed Dracula. I'm ready for this, bro. And now we have to spend the rest of our lives I making sure saw nobody some. brings him back from the dead. When I began this journey, I had a very simple plan. That plan has evolved. The plan is now conquest. Kill everything you see. Begin. What do you think that was? Could that have been Eric? One of the other lost Belmont? Ready? I think you might get over another girl. Well, no. But when's that ever stopped us? Wow. You know me. I'm going to eat your soul. Hmm. Now, you just called it. You said, is it another Belmont? He told him, you know me. Mm -hmm. So is that a Belmont that's been like brought back to life or somebody from the underworld or just another one of his excommunicated family members? But he appeared clearly dead. It could be a reanimated, uh, you know, genes or, you know, that generational bloodline, you know. So it's crazy that you say reanimated. When they was looking at the tombstone, I was like, death. Are they finally going to fight death? Because you all know if you play Castlevania, death is Dracula's right hand man. You always fight him before you fight Dracula. Yes, I, I think this is a good uh, stepping off point because this is in the original NES timeline and those are kind of the most quintessential games. Like granted, when you got introduced to it, you kind of were just thrown into an adventure. Right. So it was really cool though that they're actually going back and exploring like in between subplots and adventures within so, that time. So season three appeared to be kind of their take on um, Dracula's curse. Okay. And this appears to be their take on Dracula's revenge. That's Castlevania three for the Nintendo fans out there, by the way, in case right. you weren't sure. Um, and it's like, hmm, what kind of bends and twists are they gonna do to make this a more linear story? And I'm so far liking what I see. I remember in the original Castlevania when season two dropped, I was a little weary of the changes. Like, of course, you don't know they made Isaac black. And I'm always good down for my brother, you know, my black characters. Yeah, but I'm cool with that. But I like the original Isaac. It's like, oh, we're not going to see the sick, sadistic Isaac. But they won me over. He wasn't the sick, sadistic Isaac I remember from the game, but he was this cold, calculating new Isaac. Yeah. So what type of change are going to make in season four that I'm kind of waiting for? I think you're going to see probably more of a warrior aspect of it. I think the introduction that you like, you like the history bound part of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so... I'm cool with the changes because in Castlevania, yeah, he, it it's worked. not in like sorcery and stuff. So it's really not so much like race, you know, importancy. But if you're going for that, that's cool. 
But again, it's like Castlevania. I'm here for the fantasy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I could tell you. And I then can... the supernatural horror. But you know what? The fantasy worked because I do believe the the Isaac in this show is of Moorish descent. And the right. Moorish came to Europe and taught them about right, right. The alchemy and the spells and stuff like that. So it worked. It worked. That's uh, cool. I actually ended up loving him more than the one from the game. I will say, though, I think this is a cool series as far as like video game adaptation. It feels like a movie to me. Yeah. Like each season feels like a different movie. And uh, we got to put respect on Warren Ellis's name, man. Like him show running this and writing this and directing this, and then the producer who does a lot of video game properties, uh, Adi Shankar. Adi Shankar yeah, I, yeah, I met him at. Uh, He's great. At Anime Expo, I think twenty sixteen or twenty seventeen, and okay. I asked him person like, "Man, we gonna see Symphony tonight?" He was like, "Of course." Yeah, he just he's the go to and uh, do all. Uh, you got the most respectable team behind this, and uh, it just feels right. It's like historical, but it's. You're bringing in new age people in, then you're respecting old school Castlevania fans. Even the music is very like Transylvania. Fam, season two Let's when they heat. fought Dracula and they walk in there and Bloody Tears started playing. Yes. Bloody Tears is the theme song from Castlevania, if you don't know. I was like, oh yeah, they did it. All those remixers are fire. Fire. All of them. Fire. So, it's the most notable, like most memorable in video game when, history with the music and stuff. One thing I don't like though is that they're saying that this is the last season. I think that's because this production team got a lot of buzz off this show and the jobs are piling up and the money is looking right to go to another yeah. property because i do believe i do believe this is the team that's supposed to be doing the army of the dead prequel okay yeah yeah that sounds about right and i heard that they also got picked up they're doing a devil may cry uh so is this series. just the end of castlevania for netflix maybe another platform can pick them up uh no it's just the it's the same thing that happened with batman beyond right right batman beyond d didn't get canceled because of bad ratings the team got more money and they wanted to pull them from Batman Beyond to do Justice League. Okay. So we lost Batman Beyond, but we gained Justice League. So this ends it in a new beginning for another series within this universe. Yeah. Okay. Or, or do you know the teams need like, hey man, we ain't got time to do Castlevania. They paying us way more than to do this. Right. Because they did say like, okay, it's not going to be this last Castlevania, but it's not the last you're going to see this story. So they do a spinoff. Will we get like after this season, okay, it's a hundred years later. Now it's Symphony of the Night. We're dealing with Richter and Alucard. Well, you could time jump like that easily because no, there's so they, many gaps. In they the wouldn't. Book. They shouldn't start off with something now. You want to start off with Rondo of Blood. Rondo of Blood. Let's introduce us. So kind of keep it in the past. Yeah, keep it. Because the, the, like, the later games, like the 2K stuff is like far, far into the future. I mean, and you could still do that, but you can do like maybe live action or still keep it animation. Because, again, you still can fill those gaps and still keep it like fresh to breathe. Fam, you don't this, have to cram everything. not work live action. Do you remember in, episode, um, in season one when he fought the Cyclops? He jumped and did that spin kick and kicked it in his eye. I mean, well, if you got these team members involved, I think it can work, bro. I just don't With a Game of Thrones budget? I don't. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Keyword, Game yeah. of Thrones budget. Okay, yeah. it can be done, but I don't think Netflix is cashing out. But I just love this hand-drawn 2D animation. I could tell with some of the black lines. You see the breaks in between. Those are the pencils being burned and yeah. copied. It's like, yeah. But think about it, though. Like, you can go to, like, those weird, obscure locations that you would see, like, on Ghost Hunters, like, Rome and Italy. Yeah. Go to, a lot of, like, those, like, Gothic churches and chapels and stuff. But those are, the, like, the authentic locations for something like this. A lot of these architecture don't exist. So, it would be, like, so... I, I just feel like if you can't do it 100% right, like yeah. you said, if you're going to give it a Game of Thrones budget, yeah. do it. But if, if not, you know, stick to the anime. And then everything else is going to be, you know, suit, costumes, and practical stuff. And then you can build certain things. But you kind of want that authenticity. Like, because, again... You don't really see shows like this or a storytelling like this within this kind of game property. So I think that would kind of be new just to kind of re-experience that and retell that. It just opens the door, man. Like, how often do we get stuff like this? We don't. It took this. Yeah. Is a, you know what? This is a passion project that blew up and then showing Hollywood, hey, when you hire people that care about stuff and they yeah. want to make it, it gets done right. That's true. Because it brought the fans of the game and the people that didn't know about it all came together to watch this show in the mid. This show is dope. One of yeah. the best animations on Netflix. Definitely. I want us to do some predictions also. For that, let's give it a double take. All right, let's do it. Let's let's see if we can pick up on some Easter eggs. Everything has led us here. Which means so we are here for a there. reason. All right. Where would you like to start? The whole world's gone crazy. We've lost many people to night creature attacks. Will you help us? Who is that supposed to be? I'm 
sure I can do something for you. I like that he's wearing his Somebody who was once there. Finally ready to he's start wearing his symphony. We got a shield. We could take the entire world for our own. I love to hate her. It's a spell. It will have the name of the person he was trying to bring back from the dead. Oh, let me guess. It decodes as Vlad Dracula Tepesh. Why the fuck was would from anyone Symphony do that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Would you do that? No, I wish I could fucking kill you twice. We killed Dracula. And now we have to spend the rest there. of our lives making sure nobody brings him back from the dead. When I began this journey, I had a very simple plan. That plan has evolved. The plan is now conquest. Kill everything you see. Begin! Okay, so was that one of his monsters, or...? That looks like sorcery magic and DNA oh, no. that created them. But when's that ever stopped us? You know me. I'm going to eat your soul. I think we dealing with somebody from his past. But I would, I would love, you know, that's just like my little prediction. Um, I'm not There's definitely a couple nods to Symphony of the Night, though. For sure. It's, it's yeah. always nods to every game yeah. and everything. Like, I remember in uh, Season 2 where they go to the Belmont uh, little underground storage area, you see the picture of Leon. Like, so, like, okay, they always got little Easter eggs lying around. But, all right, man. So oh, what yeah. You, what'd you pick up? Uh, the the green symbol of that right from that scene where the, the portal opens and then Dracula comes through and he's sitting on the throne. Yep. I feel like we're going to see that castle again. Because I'm guessing that's where the big battle is going to happen. And that's probably where you're going to see the rest of the Belmont family. Are we getting 10 episodes again, like season uh, three? Yeah, they'll probably have to give more. Now, if they do and we getting like 40-minute, hour-long episodes again, this is going to be Because that's going gonna, gonna to open the door as far as the top-tier storytelling. That's going to really and unlock the way more. You can move more yeah. and you can actually get to where we need to go. If we, if we get those amount of episodes, then we're definitely probably going to get something in the night. <sighs> Uh, that's all I got for my little projection. I'm ready. I think we fighting the older Belmont. Yeah. Hey. I love that the show is uh, showing the whole family, uh, showing the side. Do you think it's Simon? Seen. Could be. That would be a dope finale. I would save him for the end. Save him Save him for last. Because he was at, the most important. At this point, Simon will be dead, right? Yeah. Okay. Non-existent, but continues on the legacy and keeps the bloodline going. Okay. He would be the last Castlevania. Yeah. No, 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 because they didn't. Well, they retconned the timeline. That That's recently, what I'm saying. But the, the the original stuff, though, if you count the 2K3 Konami stuff, okay. Though, but like everything from Symphony to the Game Boy games, like all that stuff is intact. Castlevania Adventure, then Belmont's Revenge. Yeah, Hills, like, there you know we what go. I mean? There we so, go. I'm just the uh, stuff later. The 3D stuff kind of lost me, but I stayed in the 2D realm of Castlevania. And there's like, a lot of the good 2D. You didn't stuff. like Lords of Shadow? Uh, I didn't really get a chance to experience it, but like I said, I, I'm in the Nintendo era, the Genesis, the Game Boy Advance, and the Sega Saturn. So, Lords of Shadow is the timeline. It's a timeline retcon, but I think you're like, I'm going to let you borrow it. I got all of them. Oh, and then the PSP one that's out of print now. Which one? The the Chronicles one. Dracula X Chronicles? Yeah. Um, and I got the one that was released on PS1, Castlevania Chronicles. Hard to find. I bought it like 10 years ago from like GameStop. Somebody traded it in, and I, I paid for a pre-owned game that was like fifty nine eighty nine, bro. Castlevania Chronicles never released here before in the states, but somebody so, had it. So check that out. Yeah, Castlevania uh, Dra Dracula X Chronicles mm -hmm. is in that PSU unlock it. Yeah, yeah. And it's that's the one that was never released, so it's actually in that PSP version as well. Okay, that was the first time I was able to play it. So did you know that they released that again on PS4 too? You can get it digitally. It's a dub. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> they want you to get it, basically. Because it's like, I want a, I want a Castlevania collection that's a true collection. It's like they be making two or three collections. No, I feel you. Konami has a lot of stuff that they're uh, holding back and shoving for no apparent reason. It's like, what are you doing, I, man? I'm with you. I want somebody to drop. I want to be able to play an anthology of all the Castlevanias like they did for Mega Man. From play, 1983 I want to, play to the very last Castlevania. Them, yeah. I drop 60. Just give me 10 games. I drop 60. Just give it all to me. Not... 
You might Here's, as well call that set an anthology. Yeah. Just what, everything. Said, yeah. Give me all of it, bro. And then I'll I want, take it. I want to play all the Game Boy ones too. Yeah. Hey, that that'd be a moneymaker. Especially after dropping this, that would be a perfect way to celebrate Castlevania. Because ain't the anniversary coming up or something? Yes. Like that? I, uh, Makes sense why this trailer is dropped. Oh, you right, you right. Yeah. But let us know what you guys think down in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe, share the video, follow us on Instagram and Twitter. See you next time, guys.